okay uh, the question is how much inflation is desirable that is the question comes up how much inflation or uh, is desirable or whether 2% inflation in a country is desirable or not that is the question whether 2% inflation is desirable or not okay first I talk about what does mean by inflation so inflation means the the uh, hike the hike of the of the price level meaning that or I can say the hike in the prices of goods and services on average so that is called actually inflation the hike or the increase in the prices of goods and services on average is called inflation such as such as if the rental if the rental goes up or the food price goes up right then health cost goes up meaning that inflation also goes up or in other way suppose the prices of food goes down prices of health goes down prices of education goes down and so on as a result inflation also goes down okay so now the question is that whether 2% inflation that means 2% increase in price is it desirable or not 2% increase in prices of goods and services is desirable or not 2% increase in prices of goods and services so whether it is desirable or not that is the question okay okay suppose suppose the suppose I say one thing suppose level of inflation is 0% level of inflation is 0% level of inflation suppose 0% for this year for this year level of inflation is 0% for a country that means the prices of goods and services have not increased at all so when the inflation is 0% consumer consumer can buy a lot because can buy a lot because all the prices have dropped so consumer can buy a lot right because all prices the prices are not going up so consumer are very happy consumer consumers are very happy because they can buy a lot and when they buy a lot the living standard living standard of the society goes up living standard of the society goes up meaning that society can concentrate on invention and innovation activity right 
society can concentrate on invention and innovation. Okay, in other words, in other words, when inflation goes down, such as zero percent, suppose, then the real income of the consumer goes up. The real income, right, real income of the consumer, of the consumers goes up, goes up. So the society is very happy, consumers are very happy, okay? But the problem is that in the society has two part. Society has two part. Uh, one part is consumers, consumers, and the second part is producers, right? the producers okay when the inflation is zero percent then consumers are very happy zero percent consumers are very happy but the problem is that when the prices of goods and services goes down such as zero percent then producer cannot make profit producer cannot make profit right producer cannot make profit okay then they shut down the business shut down the business because business is not profitable and when they shut down the business we loss we loss our job because we are working there so we lost our job because producers cannot make profit so when we lost the job then uh, we lost everything actually so producer must be stay in the market so if the inflation is zero percent producer cannot survive as a result we also cannot survive because we are working there because we lost the job okay suppose inflation is uh, suppose one percent level of inflation is one percent but that is not also very good because producer cannot make much profit as a result they do not extend the business and when they do not extend the business employment do not create it so producer must have incentive to extend the business so that more people can get job but when the inflation suppose become two percent meaning that price has gone up then profit goes up profit of the producer goes up profit goes up of the producer as a result they reinvest the profit they reinvest the profit in the business as a result employment goes up also production goes up also production goes up and and when the production goes up then economy also grow very fast right so 2% inflation should be uh, should be optimum for the producer okay suppose if the inflation is 2% right 
it is not that high inflation 2% is not that high we consumer consumers still can purchase consumer still can buy consumer still can buy with 2% inflation still can buy with 2% inflation and producer producers also producers also can make some profit as a result both are happy the consumers can afford 2% inflation consumers can afford 2% in, in inflation and the producer also can make some money with with this 2% two, two so they reinvest the profit in the business as a result more people get job production goes up so that is good for economy 2% inflation okay suppose inflation become 4% right so 4% yes here 4% the producer profit goes up because price of goods and services gone up so producers profit goes up heavily producers really enjoy but consumer cannot afford cannot afford right cannot buy because the prices have gone up so when the consumers cannot buy buy much meaning that their living standard goes down living standard goes down meaning that they cannot concentrate in invention and innovations right they cannot concentrate in invention and innovation so that is very good very bad for society because society cannot concentrate in invention and innovation because their living standard goes down and the thing is that when the inflation is 4% consumer cannot buy much meaning that producer cannot sell much ultimately because producers depend on the consumer so as a result ultimately in the long run producers cannot make profit because the consumers are not buying consumers cannot buy so 4% is not desirable for the society also that is too high that is too high for the consumers so what we suggest normally what i suggest normally the 2% is the most desirable level of inflation two percent level is the most desirable why because at, at this two percent the consumer can can afford at the same time producer can make some profit as a result i call it win-win situations right meaning that the producer are happy and consumer are happy as a result society become balanced society become balanced and so and and uh, society become happy because because the question is that if the if the producers are are happy but consumers are not then society is not a balanced society 
at the same time consumers are happy but producers are not happy so the society cannot be balanced so meaning that 0% inflation is not desirable sorry 0% 0% inflation is not desirable at the same time 4% inflation is not desirable right so both are extreme so 2% which is in between of the two is desirable so and uh, and so okay so thank you very much for being with me for a while.